Hi everyone, my name is Nick Adorado. I am the California Skin Institute Skin Care Specialist. And I have here today with me, Alex Ling, our color science specialist. Hi, Alex. We're gonna be talking a little bit about breakup with your makeup, uh, what it is to look unfiltered and natural. I know we spend a lot of time on the computer stick or social media, and there's a lot of filters going around and we want to help you guys enhance and look your best with not only products that you can use instead of makeup with makeup or products that have treatments with them. So we'll kind of ask you, Alex, a little bit as we go, and we will also put on product as well so you guys can see what it looks like on a before and after on half of our face. And we do have uh, specials coming up as well with these products too. Um, so on our, oh, and to let you guys know, sorry, one more thing. There is um, closed captionings down at the bottom of your screen. So if you guys wanna go ahead and click that on, um, you just click the CC on the live transcript and you can kind of see what we're talking about today. So to kind of go over, some of our products and how we kind of prep our skin a little bit. It's always nice to have something on our canvas and to start out. And so typically um, my first product I really love is the Peppa. Uh, that product feels really hydrating. It's very soft and non-irritating to the face. Um, so let's go ahead and put that on. And Alex, you want to tell us a little bit about that? I do. And I know with um, the color products, we're going to be applying it to half of our face. I am going to apply pep up to my full face because it's it's needing this hydration right now. So this product, when we think about the skin, we know that when our skin is hydrated, that it's always going to perform better. So giving it hydration is key. But on top of that, we also want to help give it like, like Nick mentioned earlier, have that kind of blank canvas to start with a healthy blank canvas. So with pep up, what you're getting out of this product are peptides that are actually helping to support your collagen. It's actually teaching your skin to rebuild its own healthy collagen. We use a great peptide complex made up of 10 different peptides that are helping to promote that collagen and elastin activity. On top of that, we are giving the skin that hydration that it needs to perform well. So we're using hyaluronic acid, a plant-based hyaluronic acid. We're using these great hydrating indicators that are going to help deliver hydration, but also maintain it over a long period of time. And then we're using antioxidants in this as well that are going to help fight against those free radicals at nighttime. A lot of us will, well, all of us should be cleansing our skin and wiping everything off for the day and going through our nighttime routine. But how many of us are still in front of a TV or a computer or even a phone where we're exposing our skin to that blue light that can cause damage to our skin? So I love using my pep up morning and night um, on my skin to help plump it up, help it activate my you know collagen and elastin synthesis, and then really help protect it as well. I really feel like I see such a big difference in like my smile lines and my neck lines when I use it opposed to when I don't. They feel very hydrated and plump. I love that you mentioned the neck because this treatment product really is for full face and neck. I'll even bring it down onto my decollete uh, because for those of us who may be working in front of a computer all day long, we start to notice that tech neck on and those lines mm -hmm. on our neck or maybe we're side or stomach sleepers. This is a great product to help keep those you know, smoothed out and your neck looking nice and youthful. Um, next product I use, I'm going to go into. So to give you a little bit of background on my skin, I tend to pigment a little bit, um, not as much uh, with redness and sensitivities, but I do have a little bit of pigment or irritation to the skin when I am in the sun. Um, so I'm going to be using our even up the multi-correcting serum. And I really like this one too, because it's very hydrating. So not only does it make my skin really bright, it also hydrates it a little bit. What about you, Alex? And I'm using the product Alcom multi-correction serum. So you'll notice with Nick and I that um, anything in the blue column are gonna be the products I'm using and anything in the white column is what Nick is using. So I have really sensitive, dry, irritated, red skin. And so for me, I love using the Alcom Multi-Correction multi Serum because this helps to 
stop that initial activation and sensitivity that my skin can experience from, you know, outside elements. Um, it hydrates it, it helps to keep it calm, and it actually helps to reduce that redness over time as well. These are both water-based serums, so they absorb into the skin very well. They're very layerable. Uh, you can get it onto your neck, onto your backs of your hands. I actually will always get it on the back, whatever's left over on the back of my hands too, because those get so dry. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Whatever leftover product there is, I'm just going to put it on my hands. <laughs> I do usually go down a little bit in my chest, but I have a sweater on because I feel like I have a lot of sun exposure right there. So I always want to just make sure I keep up with that one too. It's a, a really lightweight serum. Um, typically when you're layering your products, you're going to go that, you know, lightest consistency to, to thickest consistency. And you mm -hmm. really do feel that hydration immediately upon applying both of these products. But to talk a little bit about how these are both treating the skin. So like I mentioned, mine's helping with redness, sensitivity. If you have rosacea, this is the perfect product for you. It has a specialty ingredient complex that's calming the skin, helping to improve your skin's barrier and helping to reduce that, that redness and add hydration. And then going on the opposite side to Nika's product, hers is also infused with treatment ingredients that are helping to prevent further pigmentation, help brighten up the skin's appearance, help block um, that heat response that a lot of us see to with our skin and pigmentation and then also hydrating it as well. Let's see. And my next product that I really love that pairs with you have even up serum and then you have let's see if I can get this on there the even up sunscreen. So they look similar a little shorter than that but it has my sunscreen next to it, the SPF 50. So I'm going to put that on. And that's what I love about these is that you have your Even Up family of products or your All Calm family of products. And we're helping to support that treatment product that we already put on our skin. So we're following up with now the pigmented version of our serums. But what's cool about these is that they're a three in one. They have those specialty ingredients that are treating either our redness or sensitivity or our pigmentation, but then it's also actually helping to diffuse that discoloration in the skin. And on top of that, give us that first layer of SPF, that first layer of protection that our skin needs. And you'll notice Nick and I are both warming up this product between our fingertips before we apply it. This really helps the product to warm up, activate those initial ingredients and help it to really lay smoothly on the skin. And hopefully you guys can click on our videos and see the difference that we're having. We can take some pictures afterwards too and, and post them. But I can see already, Nika, with your side of your face that has even up on it, how even toned your skin is looking. And it really blurs. I always feel like it makes my skin look so soft. And even if I want to wear makeup over the top of it, I feel like it's a really great primer also, which is really nice. It is. And for me, I have to put this on before I put any makeup or any other color products on, because if I don't, then I still have that underlying redness to my skin. This is giving mm -hmm. me that color diffusion that I need to help even out my skin tone and not have so much redness. Plus it's helping to reinforce those treatment products that are helping to keep my skin from being so sensitive. I love the I way like it makes that. your skin look. Look at that. Yeah. I was going to say, I feel like both of our, let's see, do you have yours on your left side of your face? Right. <laughs> on your eyes. Okay. Uh -huh. Me too. Computer We're left. both mirrored. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that already has made such a great kind of canvas for us to use our other products on top. And how do how do you feel? We've already applied three products. How's your skin feeling, Nika? I don't feel like there's anything on it at all. And even wiping them on my hands, like you said, I feel like I don't have any layers on. It feels very breathable. I don't really notice a difference on each side. Thankfully I did put the pep up and even up. So I'm not as dry, but, um, it's just so breathable. And when I touch it, I don't feel like there's anything at all. Like it's so nice. Is this sweat resistant, resistant too? Yes. So the even up is going to be a 40 minute water and sweat resistance. Um, and then as we're following up with some other products too, we know how important, you know, we're going to be getting into warmer weather where we're wanting to be swimming or going to the beach or, you know, whatever our vacation and, and fun plans are and having that 
longer resistance is really helpful. So we'll talk about some products that have an even longer water resistance as well. So I feel like even up, if you are just in a hurry and you're ready to go and you feel like you tend to pigment or you're taking care of your pigment that you are on either using hydroquinone, retin-A, anything to suppress it, this is such a great product to keep it from either coming back, keeping it at bay. Um, I've also used the even up the sunscreen and the all calm as well for patients after treatments. So if they have that heat coming out of their skin, it's very sensitive and they just took care of their skin with a procedure, putting on sunscreen immediately after is so important. And this is a really good one. And it also brings down, like I said, that tone in your face. So it doesn't look like you had an immediate treatment. So if you have to go out and about, and then you are also protected. So it's such a great day-to-day, -day, very natural product. And I love that you bring up the post procedure. So even up and all calm, these were actually designed to be post procedure products, but there's something that you can use every single day that you don't ever have to filter off of. You can use them whether you're breastfeeding or pregnant. Um, so they're safe for use for everybody. And you'll notice that there aren't other shades of them. We have just the one shade of even up and just the one shade of all calm because they're meant to be that color diffusing product. So if it doesn't, it does a really good job at warming up to your skin tone, but if it doesn't match it perfectly, that's okay because we will talk about color products that you can layer on top of it. But it's important to use these because we're going to help diffuse that discoloration, but also help to, uh, you know, get that extra treatment into your skin and that SPF. So I love that point that you bring up, Nika. Thank you. Yeah. And then our so many favorites. My other favorite is Total Eye. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where I would be without this product. Um, this way. guy, <laughs> if I have to run out of my house really fast or do kid drop off in the morning and I don't want to look like I literally just rolled to bed and my eyes are exhausted. This is like my holy grail, very natural brightening eye product. It just has saved my life so many times. This is amazing. I like to call this eight hours of sleep in a bottle <laughs> because That's it really <laughs> helps brighten up the eye area. It gives back hydration. This is an eye cream, but it has that added bonus of brightening the eye area, kind of working in place of, or like a concealer. Plus it has an SPF 35 in it, but what's amazing about it is that it's optimal, just tested and approved. So you can use it on that full area of the eye, including the upper eyelid, which not many eye creams will are safe for that type of use. And it's not going to sting your eye area at all, whether you're sweating, swimming, or anything like that. And our eyes are such an important piece. Our skin is about five to 10 times thinner than the rest of the skin on our face. If we're not using sunscreen in that area, we can imagine how much more quickly our eyes can age or even have things like cancer build on top of it. So I'm using, difference. oh my gosh, look at your eyes and look at your full face. It looks <laughs> What shade are you using right now, Nika? So I use the medium and the medium has this nice peachy tone to it. Let me see if I can squirt more out of there so you guys can see. Looks like that. And it, what's nice is that it doesn't make it look like I'm wearing anything in this peach tone, but it looks like it's bright enough and still very natural without any creasing, which is my favorite thing about it. What about you? So I first put on the medium because I do have pretty um, like dark purple under cir dark circles on my under eye and that peach tone is really going to help it. However, I am probably more of the shade of the fair. So I'm actually going to layer that on top just in the corners of my eye. I'll see if you guys can tell, but you can see that I have the peach applied here and the fair here. So you can see how it has, or excuse me, the medium, not the peach, but you can see how it has that more peach undertone. And Nika actually taught me this cool tip. So I'm going to put a little bit of the fair on just that inside corner of my eye. I do like applying it first um, directly from the applicator to my skin because it has this cooled metal tip. So it's going to feel very cooling, kind of help to start deep puff the eye area. But then you take a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it on to so it's hard to get that inside corner into yeah. that crease of my eye and then down below and that made such a big difference in brightening up my eye I love that that's such a great that tip so nice I really so like my, another 
Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, does my right side look so much better than my left side? Yeah, all right here in the middle. It makes it so nice. Mm -hmm. I really like another pro tip, you guys, is the first bottle that I ever got of this, I didn't throw away because of the stainless applicator. I really like that cold feeling, especially in the morning when I feel more puffy. So sometimes what I actually do is I apply my eye cream um, and I throw that on, I'll tap around and then I actually take my old applicator. So there isn't any actual product in it. And I press it like this, just so I can do it twice so I can get that cold feeling so that way I get all that circulation all that drainage and it really I feel like makes a difference in brightening my eye up area it absolutely does and just to talk about some of the ingredients and things that are actually helping to treat your eyes in this product so we're using hydrating products like a plant-based hyaluronic acid we are using ingredients that are helping to improve the health of your collagen we're using things that are helping to improve the health of our flow of our capillaries. So you're going to see a reduction in puffiness and dark circles. You're going to see those dehydration lines be plumped and have a smoother uh, surface to your skin. You're going to see those fine lines and wrinkles start to minimize and just everything to feel a little bit more well rested and youthful and, and you know, how our, we want our eyes to look and whether you have an eye cream that you already love and use this is a great addition because this is actually something you're using during the day that's also brightening and giving you that spf at the same time i know i mentioned this but i'm going to say it again it doesn't crease it's huge <laughs> it's huge <laughs> i i love this product it's one of my favorites and a little bit goes a long way you only need about half a pump or maybe even yes. less for one full eye. So you get through both eyes with one pump. And then, so this is really great just for, uh, you know, every day unfiltered, like we were talking about quick day-to-day -day makeup, everything set. Um, another product that does layer so well, and you can wear it on its own or you know, on top of what we're using, if you want a little extra protection or a little bit more, I guess you could say coverage um, from sheer to light to all the way again to another light to medium coverage, essentially, um, is the face shield flex. And I know I've mentioned this tons of time, but it is just my holy grail. If you had to pick one thing that you needed to pick out, um, this guy besides our even up is just, you can't, you can't go without this. Um, and we also have another poll up. So you guys go ahead and answer that. What's a skin concern that leads you to wearing makeup? Um, curious on that or warning coverage on your skin, or is it just to even out the tone? Um, what, what do you think, Alex? More of the tone? For me, it's definitely to have more even skin tone. Like I mentioned, I use my all calm to help diffuse that redness and treat my skin. But then I like having my flex because it's going to help me get that perfect color coverage. And, you know, the occasional breakout, I thought those days were behind me. But, you know, I'm, <laughs> of course, being an esthetician, I'm never going to be able to avoid it because it's just one of those things that wants to come back and get you. So I definitely use this to help when I have times of breakout. But I'm also getting more protection out of this product, too. It's helping to give me protection from UVA and UVB, HEB mm -hmm. and that blue light from pollution and from heat from that infrared radiation. So I'm getting a lot of benefit out of this product. And like you said, it's that buildable coverage on a day-to-day -day basis. I typically will do about one layer of this product, but if I am getting ready for an event or photos or something like that, I will do about two or three layers. You can really do as much as you want to have a lighter or more full, or more full coverage. And I take our fair flex and I do just a tiny bit of the medium mixed in to get my perfect shade, especially right now, kind of in between seasons. And what's cool about the face shield products, we have quite a few. We've got the glow and the bronze and the classic and the flex and the matte, and you can mix and match these together to create a customized look. Whereas with the even up and all calm, those have those different specialty treatment ingredients in them where you don't want to necessarily mix those two together. You wanna to use one or the other. But with the Flex, you can mix all of these together. And you can see that when you dispense the product at first, it's white and it has these tiny little dots and flecks of color. And as you agitate the product and blend it in, it tone adapts to your own skin tone. And it's like a magic trick right in front of your eyes. 
I'm also going to, just since we're putting it on, I like to mix my flex with the glow since my skin's looking a little dry right now and a little rainy and cold. I like to add just a tiny bit on top with this one. And I so like doing pretty. the same thing, but I do a little bit just on those areas where I want to have a little extra, I guess, highlight. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my glow. And we've already used, you know, the amount of sunscreen that we need to protect our skin. So this is where it's okay to take a little bit of a different sunscreen product and pop it on those areas where you'd want it. Whereas if I were to just do this with the product on its own, I wouldn't be getting enough of that protection. So we always want to have that full face of protection, but I'm going to get on my, in between my eyes and my nose, I'm going to get it on my eyes a little bit and my cheekbones, but the glow has just this beautiful kind of champagne shimmer. Let me get quite a bit on here so I can show you all. And the flex has more of like that demi matte finish to it. So you can see kind of that champagne shimmer and it's not, it really is more of like a glow. It's not sparkly or shimmery. It's just a nice natural looking glow. Even putting all these layers on, I still don't feel like I have anything at all to my skin and it dries so nicely and it doesn't feel dry, doesn't feel like sticky or what. Um, do you have any pro tips? So this one I know too is sweat resistant and water resistant um, and it stays on all day, which is amazing when, especially when it's summertime and you're sweating, the last thing you want to see is sweating makeup right here. So I'm very thankful for this and the coverage, but at the end of the day, when I go to wash it off, um, I want to make sure that I'm taking everything off. Do you have any tips on that to make sure that it's cleansed properly? I do. And some of you may have been seeing me wipe my hands in between di using different products. So there's a few things that you can do. One, um, you can get these on the CSI website. These are our cleansing, hydrating, hydrating cleansing cloths. And these are not your typical makeup remover wipes. They are one, they're very big, which I love. And they have two different textures. They have a flat texture on one side and a texture on the other. I've removed a full face of crazy Halloween makeup before with just one of these, but it doesn't have anything like alcohol or mm -hmm. fragrances or anything in it that's going to be drying out the skin. It's actually infused with hydration and coconut water and all these really amazing ingredients so that your skin doesn't feel dry right after you've taken it off. So that's one thing you can do is like a quick, let me hurry up and remove this. Or, you know, maybe even if you're just going to the gym and you want to take off your color, but still put some sunscreen on few ways that you can use these. Um, teenagers, great to have this if you have mm -hmm. teenagers that play sports. Um, but whenever you're removing any color products and especially with the face shields, these are water resistant. So if you're just splashing water on your face, that's not going to remove them fully. I would always recommend doing a double cleanse. Um, I know that you can get a lot of amazing cleansers at CSI. So one cleanse to remove all the color and SPF and makeup on your face and a second cleanse to actually cleanse your face. So that's how I wash my face every night, double cleanse, but I do also love using our hydrating cleansing cloths. My skin gets really sensitive with some of those wipes and those are so nice where it doesn't feel like it's, if it's the right word, it doesn't burn essentially when you go to wipe your face, it's like almost calming, which is really awesome. They're very, they're really versatile wipes that work for all skin types, oily, acneic, dry uh, combination, any skin type they work really well with. And I, I like that you mentioned the um, sensitivity or burning portion of it. If you have rosacea or sensitive skin, I always get kind of that burning around my nose area if I use a wipe that has alcohol in it because it's just drying out my skin even further. So you can use these without experiencing that negative effect. Awesome. Well, the finishing touch on our makeup, no makeup face today is our powdered sunscreen, um, which I love. And there's um, an interesting technology with some of these products have color, um, the coverage that it has and why we kind of use it. Can you uh, go over that a little bit with us? Yes, I can. So talking about the flex is kind of the perfect way to introduce that. So kind of like 
we were talking about before. So I'm just going to demo this on my hand. When you first dispense the flecks onto your skin, you notice that it's white and you see these tiny little flecks and dots of color. What those are is they are capsulated iron oxide so that as you start to blend the product, it starts to tone adapt and match your skin tone. Now what iron oxides are, these are natural mineral elements that are made up of um, oxygen and they're made up of these natural elements that work to be used in cosmetics and in skincare to not only give color, but they have an added benefit of being able to give back that protection from blue light and that HEV light that we get from our devices, from fluorescent lighting, from our phones. All of us are in front of a, our, a device right now. So we want to make sure we're actually protecting our skin. And the best way to protect the skin from blue light is a combination of all three colors of iron oxides. We've got yellow, red, and black, and then mixed with zinc oxide. So if you guys look at the right-hand side of the screen where we see this wavelength and we see HEV and we see these different iron oxides, what's cool about this is that the combination of all three of these colors are protecting your skin through that HEV wavelength, even so far into infrared radiation. And if that's getting too scientific for you to kind of bring it all together, essentially what we're doing with these different iron oxides, we call them pigments with purpose because they're giving it that tone, uh, that tone matching or that color or that color diffusing like the even up and the all calm, but then we're also protecting our skin at the same time. So when you think of color science, we have all these beautiful, amazing products that give natural look and feel of color to the skin, but they're also, we've also got that science piece where we're helping to actually protect the skin, helping to treat the skin at the same time. I love that. I love the way that those colors look when you mix them around and how much they match the skin like that. I think it's awesome. It's such great technology. No redness, no pigmentation. It sounds too good to be true. <laughs> Let's go in with our powder. So Alex and I are going to be using two different powders today. Mine is the matte uh, SPF 30. So mine will look like, well, let's see if I can get it white. And what color are you using, Alex? I'm using our medium and I can go between fair or medium. These, the sun forgettables are pretty sheer. Uh, you, you'll notice that you can go between one or two different shades, but we do have different shades because we want to make sure that everybody has an option. The one that Nick is using, the matte, it's colorless. It's a zinc only brush and the powder inside of it is white. What's cool about this is it's meant for anybody with oily or acneic skin. It has these awesome um, silica pores inside of the product that's actually helping to mop up excess sebum on the surface of your skin. And it actually helps to control that oil for up to six hours after you've applied it. So you'll notice when you use it, it has this kind of pore a blurring effect to it. It feels really, really silky on the skin. And what I'm noticing with as Nick is applying it, I can still see that highlight from her glow, but I can see that any of that excess oil has been absorbed by those elastomers inside of the product. So anybody with oily or acneic skin, that's a product for you. If you're not concerned about oil or anything like that, we do have the SPF 50 brush. With both of these, as long as you can see that powder flowing out of the base of the brush, hopefully you can see that through my screen, you know your brush is working. And we always wanna apply it kind of in this downward motion in a circular pattern, because that's what's going to help get the product out of the base of your brush. And I go around my face two full times to get that recommended amount of protection, getting my ears. You can even use it to get the hairline. You can use this on men, women, kids, babies six months and older can use this as long as their doctor is giving them that go ahead for sunscreen. So really easy, quick application if you're at the pool or the beach or at a theme park or just outside in your yard. I get it what onto like my neck, I'll do my hands, <laughs> I get everything. What I like about this a lot too is it doesn't feel dry. So the all ages can use it. I can use it around my eye area and my eye area tends to get definitely more drier and textured and I can go around and around. And even though it's matte, I never have a problem with it feeling dry or tight. It's very soft. Um, and men can use it as well where they don't feel like they're putting any type of like 
powder on. Um, it's just powdered sunscreen where it's so translucent. You just feel that heat subside when you put it on, which is really awesome. One of my other favorite products too. And you can leave it in the car. It's not going to go bad. And you, you can really, I always suggest if you're going to get one of these, you may as well get two or three because you can keep one in your car. So you always have it it can, you're stuck in traffic and you feel that heat blazing on your skin and you just had a treatment done. Nothing feels worse than that. So being able to put your sun forgettable on and help with some of that heat. I actually keep one in my kitchen when I cook and I get it on the backs of my hands so that I can keep my hands from developing that pigmentation that can come from that heat. Um, and then just one in my purse too. I, I have one pretty much everywhere so that I don't ever forget one and I have access to it because we should be reapplying about every two hours. So you can kind of see a difference. Let me get a little closer in here on my face because I'm going to put the powder on this side. I am sitting in front of the computer screen. It makes me a little nervous to have like nothing on this side of my skin. So you can kind of see that tone and evenness I have opposed to this side is such a huge difference. Look at my eye area. Your eye is a huge, huge. difference. I love seeing that before and after. And that's why we wanted to do this split face application. I feel like your lighting is so good to show that before and after mine's not quite as um, aggressive, probably because I have diffused lighting in my, in my office area, but seeing that more even tone in both of our faces. Plus, like you mentioned, it doesn't feel like I'm feeling my side of my face that doesn't have anything on it, my side that does. And it just feels like my natural skin. I don't feel like I have thick makeup on. And let's see, I'm going to add up. I have one, two, three, four, five different color products that are all SPF. So I have like five layers of SPF on my face right now and it looks natural. It feels natural. And I've got a lot of protection and a lot of treatment. You look great, Alex. I love it. <laughs> you do too. So you guys just to let you know, we are going to be having an anniversary sale with color science. We have this, I think, is it twice a year? Um, two sales that they do. It's 25% off all of Color Science. There's no minimum. So we have it online and select locations um, for our California Skin Institute offices. There is a scan code right here on the screen. You guys can hold up your guys' phone. It'll take you directly to our website where you guys can purchase the products. Um, or you can go to office um, to either try the products, see what products match your tone. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to us. Um, there are a couple of questions that did go on um, in the chat that I saw. So if you guys have any other questions, please enter them in. But one of them where the wipes are nice, but uh, so I don't have to use or do two products to remove just flex. What else can you do? Um, you could do the double cleanse that she was talking about, uh, where, what, can you explain a little bit about the double cleanse, Alex, again, what that is? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, remember, first of all, remembering that the, even the brushes that we just put on the brush has an 80 minute water resistance and it, it is very, very water resistant. So if you are using, um, a cleanser on your skin, if sometimes using a gel cleanser versus like a cream or foam cleanser can make a difference. I feel like you want to kind of get that sudsing motion if you can. But again, if you're someone who likes to use those cream cleansers, you can still remove any of these products, but water alone won't really do the trick. I know I've seen some people use those cleansing. Um, let's see, it's like a, like a washcloth that you just get wet and you wipe your makeup off and that's supposed to cleanse your face fully. The makeup wipes. Yeah. The, yeah. But it's not like, it's like makeup an actual eraser. cloth versus having like product on it. It's like dry, you get it wet and wipe it. But again, because these are so water resistant, we want to make sure that we're using something to actually cleanse the skin. So that's why I like doing a double cleanse. I like doing the first to remove any SPF, any makeup, any color product I have on my skin. And then I follow it up with a second cleanse to actually get all of that, any extra dirt and just really make sure my skin is nice and clean. I double cleanse every morning <laughs> and every night. <laughs> I definitely double cleanse in the night. Uh, just because I feel like I do have all this on here and I want to make sure because I will get really lazy and do this really fast and then walk away. So if I take the time where I have to do the steps, I might get in a little bit longer, especially when I'm tired. Um, another question was, can you use a little darker shade of the sun forgettable in the place of a bronzer? Oh, I love that question. So I would say that it's not quite 
pigmented enough for it for you to be able to see it as that mm -hmm. um bronzer it de it depends um if well okay let me let me backtrack a little bit if you were trying to use it as like a contour I'd say not for that but I do think you can use it for a bronzer um you could definitely do full face in like a tan or deep and have a little bit more of a bronzed appearance on the skin so answer to that would be yes for bronzer but no to contour I've used the darker ones. I want to say it's the deep to try to do that. It took a while to get those product out to keep going around and around. You can always do a darker flex or the bronze that we have in the face shield and just kind of do like a tap around, even on the powder, which works really well. Um, the powder takes a little bit of effort because it doesn't really give you that coverage too much. And I've seen people mix their bronze with their glow with the flex with yeah. the matte i've seen people use this in a lot of different ways you can really blend it in to blend very well into the skin or you can use a little bit more so that you have a little bit more of that full um, bronze color so a few options there someone also asked um is the total iu used in place of a regular eye cream or do you use both that's a great question. So I do use both. I have my eye cream that I use actually nighttime and in the morning, and then I'm reinforcing those treatment ingredients with the total eye after that, just in the morning. I sometimes, even though my eyes are dry, like I said, when I'm taking the my kids to school or I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to do all those steps, I will throw on total eye um, and the sunscreen just so I have that hydration part. So if I don't have time, at least I have something and sunscreen in one. So it kind of speeds it up a little bit, which is really nice. Sure. What about how do you activate the powder? Um, my powder got jammed a little bit, it's not coming out. How can I tell if it's coming back out and how do I fix that? So anytime you're taking one of the brushes home, you do want to make sure that you're activating it before you use it. So you'll remove the rubber band that comes around the base. You'll give it a couple of firm caps, maybe a couple of more for your first time applying it. And then as long as you see that powder coming out of the base of the brush, you know that it's activated and ready to go. That's the thing with it when you're applying it, it doesn't feel like anything's getting on your skin. We always say it feels like nothing but protects from everything. So as long as you see it coming out of that base and you're applying it in the circular pattern in this downward motion, then and doing those two full um, applications, then you're good to go. I got one more question so we can wrap this up a little bit. Sorry, you guys, we went a little over. So thank you for staying. Um, can I use this? I know you answered this, Alex, um, on aging and sensitive skin. Absolutely. The brush is fantastic for all skin ages, all skin types. It has a powdered form of hyaluronic acid in it. So it's not going to be drying to the skin. It's actually going to help the skin to feel more hydrated. So you can definitely use this whether you're dry combination um, or if your skin is aging and not worry about it setting into creases or anything like that. It has zinc in it as well. So it's really great for anybody with sensitive skin. That's always going to be a great ingredient that's going to help calm down sensitivity. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Alex, for joining us today. Thank you guys for joining us. There are some more questions based on skincare. Next month, we will be doing a more in-depth uh, video or webinar um, on skincare. So if you guys have any questions, please submit them to us and let us know what you guys are looking for. Uh, but right now we do have, again, that 25% off color science. I think, when does that end, Alex? Can you that lasts me? until the 23rd. The 23rd. And then also just to let you guys know, for California Skin Institute, we do have 25% off our serums as well. Uh, so if you guys are needing anything in that realm, a new retinol, something more for hydrating, those will be on sale as well. Uh, again, just click that little uh, QR code with your camera and it'll take you right over to our website. We will be uploading this onto our YouTube and should be seen out. So if you guys want to rewatch or have any questions again, please feel free to let us know. Thank you for your time. Alex, thank you so much for joining us. You look great. It feels great. This was awesome. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Take care. Bye guys. Bye.